How much longer are you going to wait? You're going to wait another 30 seconds? You're going to wait another minute? You're going to wait another hour? Maybe we'll start in a couple hours. You know what? How about I just wait till tomorrow? You're gonna wait till tomorrow? You're gonna wait another week? You're gonna wait another month? How much longer are you gonna wait? If you're gonna be successful in life, you gotta understand that there is a sense of urgency, that there are only 86,400 seconds in a day, and you gotta not only operate in them, you gotta do it quick, you gotta do it fast, you gotta do it in a hurry. Why? Because there's somebody else who's on the same track you are, somebody else, they're on the same path that you are, it's somebody else just like you trying to do it, and sometimes they're working just as hard as you're working. They're putting in just as much sweat, just as much tears, just as much blood, but you just gotta do it what? You gotta do it faster than they do it. You gotta do it quicker than they do it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's why I wake up at three o'clock in the morning because if you're getting up at six, you might be smarter than me. You hear me? You might. You might have more privilege than me. You might. You might have more resources than me. You might. But I'm gonna get up earlier than you and I'm gonna do it quicker than you do it. I'm gonna do it faster than you do it. So by the time you get up with all your resources, by the time you get up, with all your privilege, by the time you get up, with all your stuff, I've already finished the race. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Today, what are you tempted to give up on? What are you tempted to walk away from? And so many of God's people, oftentimes, they wanna give up and quit. And I'm saying to you, you don't give up and quit. We make the choice. We make the choice of how we live through the difficult times of life. I would plead with you, don't walk away. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel, as people say. But just tell the Lord, Lord, I'm going to trust you to see me through this. I don't know how but I'm gonna trust you because you said you will never leave me nor forsake me. And God, I believe you always tell the truth. You do a little extra effort here. You take whatever's normal and you do a little extra to it. That's what makes it extraordinary. What's that extra? The extra rep. Getting up at an extra half hour earlier. Those little extras combined to a word called extra with ordinary together to make extraordinary. Stop going about the day as a servant. Become the master. Run your day and stop having it run you. Believe in yourself. Be that one of a hundred has a belief. Instead of just in jaw jet talk of intent. Huge differential there. Differential is somebody just believe in life. And the other one taking the most of the opportunity and time of life. Remembrance. Otherwise, forgotten. You have to realize that one day your life is going to flash before you. And the credits are going to roll. And it's gonna be two options. It's gonna say, oh sh it's too late. Or it's gonna say, yeah, I kicked ass. And that's the bottom line. So when they bury you, is your tombstone gonna say, what might have been? Or is your tombstone gonna say, hell yeah, I killed it.